Hey guys, today I'll show you 10 ultra strong fragrances under $39. Number 10 spot, Calvin Klein Reveal. I have a friend in the restaurant business. He's a chef and the manager. After the chef started wearing this, the manager had to buy it. This fragrance lasted them from 2 p.m. till 2 a.m. That is the chef's report on this. It's a floral salty musk with a light sweet undertone that gets lots of compliments. Some people on blogs say they smell it, but they don't smell it. One of those invisible style fragrances, but you definitely can smell it and it definitely lasts a long time. It's a nice product that came out in 2014. The next fragrance is called Versace Dreamer. Now, should you blind buy Versace Dreamer? Maybe not. This is a floral musk as well with citruses and lavender and tobacco. And back in 1996, around the time when this came out, it was a serious beast mode and it still is. It lasts a very nice long time. But as far as I'm gonna buy Versace, I found it for $29, you know, which is about the price of this fragrance. And you're thinking that, oh yeah, Versace. Well, this fragrance is more of an old barber shop style fragrance. My friend Jimmy, who works at Home Depot, wears this. He's 39 or 40 now years old, and all the senoritas there compliment him when he wears it. But you gotta think that's a masculine environment with lots of, you know, hairy chested men and masks and goggles and things like that. And he still got compliments to give you an idea of the fragrance, but it is from the old days. It's barber shop style. He also used to wear Salvatore Ferragamo with the same color. And back in the old days, the juice was a little bit darker than this color right here, but still a good fragrance. Just remember lavender, citrusy, floral barber shop fragrance that is like elegant in a bottle. So if you want to blind buy, maybe you might try it or ask around a little bit. It's not that mass appealing, but very good for longevity. The next one, the next one is called Youp for Men. It's super strong vanilla, and it's got all kinds of other notes in it, like sandalwood and touches of green notes as well. The fragrance here is going to explode a room if you were to spray it four times. That's daring. I wouldn't spray it twice. And in the old days, it's another fragrance that they still make it good somehow, but in the old days, I couldn't barely spray it once. That's how strong it is, and to this day, it's still strong. Found for $20 for this exact 125 milliliter bottle, and you will get compliments. And my friend, guy from Chicago, what's his name? Frankie, he wears this every day for life. He's been wearing this, never changed, but he did finally change two years ago. I got him to wear Bleu de Chanel to give you an idea, but this is like a signature fragrance. Next is a powerhouse found for under $39 by Lalique called Ancre Noir. What does Ancre Noir mean? It means black ink. So you think about what would black ink smell like? It smells like green trees and vetivers and herbs and darker notes. And it lasts a decent amount of time for the price tag. And it's very elegant and upscale again. I wouldn't say this is blind by worthy, but the very next one on this list by Lacoste is this is La Coast White, 1000%, the most blind buy worthy on this whole list. It's very easy to wear citrus white floral musk that gets compliments and it lasts not as long as some of the rest, but it just does the job. It's one of the most longest lasting La Coast fragrances I found. Highly recommend this on the whole list. The next fragrance is really cool. It's an oud fragrance, not oud base, but it has oud in it. It's called Bentley Absolute for men, which has oud notes in it alongside this fragrance inside here the perfumer it's got some wood notes and some other notes the perfumer for this fragrance made a fragrance years ago called gucci per homme gucci per homme is four five hundred dollars now and discontinued and this one smells almost just like it you can check out blogs and magazines they tell you how similar it is and did he go off and make this and bottle it up for bentley who knows the next fragrance is called Craze for Men. Craze for Men simply smells like Pegasus. If you were to put Pegasus, which is $400 Parfume de Marley, and Craze here, after four minutes, you won't smell the difference. However, Pegasus, in the first five minutes, it's very metallic, where this one is more of a synthetic aroma. But after the dry down, if you can wait, and you don't want to spend 400, you want to spend 30, You'll smell like it with this fragrance right here. It's called Craze. The next fragrance 
is a very controversial fragrance as well. It's called Versace Prom Signature, another older fragrance with lots of yellow notes and citruses and green notes and florals and musk. And I recently did a, a survey and I said, hey, what do you like better, Versace Per Om Signature or Versace Per Man, that light blue and fresh? And more people like this one, even though the other one's newer. So I said, hmm, let's see if they like this better than Eros. So I did a survey on my community page. I said, do you like Versace Per Om Signature better than Versace Eros? And look at the results. I was blown away because personally, I don't. Out of the one that would have said no, but this guy beat Versace Eros. It didn't beat, however, Chanel Bleu or Aventus, but still, beating Versace Eros is a big takedown for this 20-year-old fragrance, approximately. It does easy to wear and gets you compliments. It is a perfect fragrance in the high heat summer. This is perfect for fragrance for high heat summer, and it's blind buy worthy as well. That means you can buy it without any problems because it'll be easy to wear, mass appealing. And the next one's very much my favorite on the list. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue oh, Intense. Prices have come down finally, and now they're more affordable. I don't think you can buy this size, but the other smaller size you can get for under $39. Light Blue oh, Intense is an intense aquatic that lasts all day long. Plain and simple, it's salty, it's beautiful, and gets you massive, massive compliments. And then this fragrance as well had protected prices. It's called Blue Absolute. What a cool bottle by Reefs. And if you spray this on, you see this color of this bottle? It's the same color as Dior Sauvage. If you spray it on your hand, the first four hours, the first two hours is projecting way past your head. It's so strong, it turns into a lemony, freshy, citrusy. It's so powerful, it smells like Sauvage after about an hour. I mean, it smells like Sauvage right off the get-go, right when I smell it, but even better when it dries down, it, it turns beautifully. The bottle here would crush even, well, this is the one that's about the same weight as this. I still think this might even be able to crush this. It's so heavy. So do you have any experience with any of these fragrances we just talked about? If so, please comment down below to help others smell expensive on a budget. Not let anyone else know that you only spent 30 or $40 on your fragrance and you smell like a millionaire. Peace and love. I'll see you on the next video. Uncle Chris out.